our second Maths Ninjas lesson. Um, today we are going to be looking at addition and we're going to be looking at lots of different strategies to help us. So the first thing we're going to look at today is this symbol. Now you should have all seen that before, but what I want you to do is I'm going to pause this video and I want you to think of all the key words and key vocabulary that we use for this symbol. words written down and I'm going to list them on this board so you could have had and mark these off if you've got them you could have had more you could have some you could have total you could have add we could have had addition and you might have thought of some other ones but if you've got those, extra points to you. So when we're in school, we use lots of different resources and hopefully you should have your pack now at home that has got a lot of those that you can use. So we're gonna go through a few. We're gonna do some additions with different resources to help us, okay? So. so to start off with, we're going to be adding one more. So the calculation we're gonna do is five plus one equals. Now using these cubes or anything that you've got in your house, it could be pieces of pasta, it could be pieces of ripped up paper, we're gonna work this out. So we need to count out five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We're going to add one more and we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is six. So now over to you. Can you take a handful of objects and add one more? So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to count these objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and add one. Yours might be different. You might have picked up four. You might have picked up eight. But I would like you to do an addition. So now we're going to look at using Numicon. Now we're going to start off with an add one and I want to do three plus one. So I've got three and I'm adding one. Now you are all really good at your Numicon shape. So what you can do is put your one in and what shape is that? What number does it make? It makes the number four. Okay, so over to you now. We've got this number. We have got the number nine and we are going to add one more. So using your Numicon pieces in your pack, can you work out... 9 plus 1. So for some of you, we might be wanting to move on from adding 1. So we're going to look at adding single digit numbers. Now we're going to try using our number line now. So we're going to start with this addition here. So we've got 5 plus 3. To start off with, we're going to find the number 5. And we are adding three, so we're going to take three jumps. So we're going to go one, two, three. The total of five and three is eight. So now I'd like you to have a go at this one. So we've got 13 add five. So on your number line, can you find the number 13 and take five jumps? Hopefully, you have got one, two, three, four, five. Your answer is 18. So some of you might want to carry on doing those questions that we were just doing before, but we're going to move on a little bit now and add two two-digit numbers together. So what you learned last week, Miss Pemberton, your place value is going to come in really useful here. So we're going to start with the calculation, 15 add 13. Now we're going to put number 15 on our number line. And we're going to look at our tens. So in 13, we've got one ten. We're going to jump that one ten, so we're going to add ten. Now 15 add 10. Looking at our tens column, we've got one. So what is one ten add another ten? It's two tens. And our ones are staying the same. So we've got five ones, we've got 25. We've done our tens, we're now going to do our ones. So we've got add three three ones in 13. So 25 add three, you can count on your hand if you want, 23, 5, 26, 27, 28. 
And there you can see you've got your tens and your ones. 10 and 33 gives you 13 here. So your answer, 28. So we're gonna do one together a little bit now. So we're gonna do 34 add 12 equals. So we're gonna start with our 34. I'm gonna put the jumps in for you this time. So our tens jump is add 10, because we have got one 10 and 12. And then we're gonna do a jump of adding two. So what I want you to do now is 34 add 10, put your answer, and then this answer, add two, is gonna give you your total. So hopefully you've worked that out. We've got 34 plus 10 is 44, and then 44 add two is 40. And this is the last one we're going to do using a number line. So we're going to make it a little bit of a challenge. We're going to have 43 add 24. The difference with this one is if you're looking at your tens, you've got two tens. So you're going to do two ten jumps, okay? So have a go at that one and we'll go through the answer in a minute. <laughs> go through it together so 43 we're adding it 24 so we've got two tens to add now you can't add it as a 10 and another 10 so we could do it as two separate jumps like this so 43 add 10 is 53 add 10 is 63 or if you felt confident enough you could just do one whole tens jump at adding 20 we're then going to add the four ones so adding four 63 64 65 66 67 your total is 67 so we're going to look at another addition now we've got 49 add 17 and there's a little bit of a difference here so we're going to start with 49 we're going to add our 10 same as what we were doing before so we're adding one 10 49 add 10 is 59 now you might notice that we've got this 59 it's very very close to the nearest 10 so what i want you to be doing is we're going to add seven ones, but we know that if we add one, we get to 60. And then we've got six more, and it's much easier to add that six onto 60, because using your recall, you should just know that that is 66. So going through this now, we've got 78, add 10 is 88. 88 to nearest 10 going up to nine, so we've got two more. Eight and two makes the next 10. So we're adding two here that makes us go up to 90. And then we've, we've got three remaining here. So 90, add your three, easy peasy 93. So we've now come to the task part and challenge part of the lesson. So we're gonna go through what each group would do. Um, so you can challenge yourself or to go to where you feel comfortable, okay? So group one, what I want you to do is you're gonna need a dice. Now, you've got a dice in your pack, it's a net, you can use that, or you've got a dice lying around in a board game, get that out, because you're gonna need it. So you're gonna roll a dice like this, the number four, and you're going to just add one to that number. And I want you to do that five times, okay? Group two, you're gonna roll your dice three times. So the first two times you roll it, so I've got a five, and then I'm going to roll it again, and I've got a one. So your first number is 51. And then your third roll is going to tell you what you're adding to that number. So you've got 51 plus six. And again, I want you to do five questions. Thanks, guys, so much for coming on today. It's been great to see you all. You've done an amazing job. Don't forget, if you've done any of the challenges at all today, or any of the questions, send them through to us and we'll try and get them on Twitter because we are always looking for our pathway champions. So I hope you've had a great time. See you soon.